today I'm going to be teaching you how to cage in eight millimeter round beads with crawl or cubic right angle weave. Now I'm going to be using eight millimeter rounds that are the chakra colors for yoga, which are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink. They can also be used as rainbow colors or use whatever colors you want. And you can put three in here. You can put one. You can put three. You can put five, however many beads you want. You can make a whole necklace of cages like this or a whole bracelet. It's a really fun project, and I cannot wait to show you how to do this. Now, the first thing you need to know is how to do crawl, is I don't explain how to do that. So let me show you on my YouTube channel where you can go to learn this if you don't know. So if you go to my YouTube channel, off the beaded path and that's what the logo looks like we, you can either click on the home screen or normally it takes you straight to the home screen and you can click on the videos tab when you go to the videos tab it takes you to every video that i currently have on the channel now if i want to find only the videos that deal in crawl you'll see here all the way to the right uh, there is a little drop down arrow now this is on my ipad it may look a little bit different on other devices but it's there and then I can hit the search function right here. Now I already have that word put in, but I'm gonna back it out so you can see. It says search channel. So I'm gonna search the word C-R-A-W. And when I search that, you'll now notice this will pull up only the videos that have the word crawl in them or in the description. So you'll see here I have a double crawl I have a crawl tool video, I have crawl variations, crawl variations 2, live crawl class, bubble necklace. All of these are going to be really helpful to you when you are looking for crawl beginner projects. Now what will help you most today is the bubble necklace because it's going to be similar to what we're going to be doing. So that is on my YouTube channel. The other thing that I wanted to show you is on the website, offthebeadedpathbeadstore.com, I do have packets that have all seven colors that I'm going to be using today, eight millimeter rounds, and they are already there for you so you don't have to buy full strands. Now, you'll see here, it tells me that the SKU is number 1427. So what you can do when you go to the website, you can click in the search box, and I use this little button right here, right next to where it says search. I use that little button, press it, one, four, two, seven, and then I'm gonna press that again. And what that does, that will only bring up that specific number. So if you search just like that, it will pull up that number. It's the same way for our delicate beads. So if I click right here, and then I put in, let's say DB010, and then I hit that button again, it will only bring up that name, DB010. So that's a really easy way to search it when you are looking on the website, but here they are, so that way you can actually get just those seven beads if you wanted to. But again, you can use any beads that you want for the project. So let's talk about the materials that you're gonna need today. The first thing you're going to need is your desired amount of 8 millimeter round beads. Again, I'm using the little yoga chakra colors, but you can use however many and you can use whatever color you want. Any type of round bead, so a drug bead, a pearl, a fire polish bead will work really well. A 8 millimeter bicone won't work as well, but it you can make it work. You're going to need a size 8 seed bead about 12 grams, 12 grams of a size 11 seed bead. You are going to need 10 to 12 yards of your favorite thread. So today I'm using the dragon thread. You, you do you use what you want to. You can use a size 10 or a size 12 needle. Either one will work. You are going to need a clasp of your choice. And then you'll see here on the very end, I have used two 8mm round beads. These can, not 8mm, goodness, 4mm round beads. They can also be bicones, pearls, drucks, whatever you have, but you're going to need two of those as well. To start the project, I have done one side of the necklace and that is using my eights and my elevens. So if you've watched some of my other videos, especially some of the variation videos, you know I like to tell people to go ahead, if you're new to crawl, 
go ahead and lay the beads out. So wall one was an 11, an eight, and an 11. Wall two was an 11 and an eight. Wall three is an 11 and an eight. And then the final wall that you do is just one eight. This is what gives us that look of our 11s with our eights. And so you're just going to do that until you reach your desired length. Now comes the fun part of actually learning how to cage our beads in place. So this is going to seem really, really weird to start out with, but I promise, trust the process. So to get started, we need to exit one of our size 8 seed beads along the top of the last box. We are going to thread on one 8 millimeter. I'm going to start with the pink this time. Thread on one eight millimeter and then four size eight seed beads. So one eight millimeter and four size eight seed beads. Now I'm going to let these drop down and I'm going to take note here. You see where the thread is coming out of this eight millimeter bead here. It's coming out to the right. I'm going to drop the bead down. And I'm going to come back through the first size 8 seed bead of the set of four. I'm going to go through that bead again. And I'm going to pull the thread down to where everything is nice and tight to the base. I'm going to come down through the 8 millimeter bead again. And then remember, my thread was coming out here to the right of that bead so when I pull this tight, now I'm gonna take the needle and I'm gonna to come to the opposite bead. So here's the bead, I'm coming to the bead opposite and I'm gonna go through it so that now that will anchor that eight millimeter round bead. This top part is just gonna be dangling around, that's okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the cage to hold this in place. So to do that, I'm going to thread on seven 11s. Now, the seven 11s count comes from using Toho brand seed beads. So I'm using a Preciosa brand seed bead, so I may have to change my counts. I'm not sure yet. So coming out of the eight seed bead here on the bottom, I'm going to come to any eight along the top. I like to just start with the one that's anchored. So I'm going to go through that bead. My thread is exiting here to the right. So I'm going to go through the top bead from right to left. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to pick up seven. And these are my seven elevens. And then I'm going to pull these beads back if you have a trouble seeing. I'm going to pull that back because I want to go through that same size 8 seed bead. And I'm coming back through it so that now it's going to put two arches of beads there along the side of that 8 millimeter bead. I'm going to go through the next size 8 seed bead. And then I'm going to put on 7 11s. I'm going to take the needle and I'm going to come through the next top size 8 seed bead. Now, here's the thing. I can done kind of tell that this encasement might turn out a little bit too small. I'm going to go ahead and complete it. So you can see what it'll look like and you can see why I feel that way. And it might not, it might work fine, but I believe it's probably gonna be a little too small. I'm gonna go down through the seven elevens right below where my thread is at. Through the size eight seed bead here at the bottom. And then through the next size eight seed bead. So, so far, I have three arches. Pick up seven 11s. 
and I'm going to come through the next top size eight seed bead. Come down through the 7-Elevens right where my thread is exiting. And then through the size eight seed bead at the bottom. So that now I have one, two, three, four arches of beads. So I go through the next size eight seed bead. Up through the 7-Elevens right above where the thread is exiting. And when I do that, I can already tell right here, you see all this thread right here? Because this is showing because it's pulled these tight. So I know that when I use my Preciosa brand seed beads, I'm going to have to change out the amount of beads that I picked up. So this may be the same thing for Toho. Um, you just kind of have, or not Toho, my Yuki. So you just kind of have to play if you're using a size bead other than Toho. So I'm going to give this a shot now. And instead of seven, I'm going to put eight. Five, six, seven, eight. And this too will show you whatever size bead you're using, because you can use a six millimeter bead as well if you wanted to. This will give you an idea of how you need to figure out to adjust the size. Three, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I'm gonna come down through that eight again. Okay, then I'll come through the next size eight. Try eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'll come through that top bead there, that top size eight seed bead. And then down through the 7 Elevens. Eight. <laughs> Sorry, eight, not seven. Through the eight there on the bottom. And you can see. This is giving me a little bit of a gap between the bead and the seed bead. So I think eight is going to be a good number for these Preciosa brand seed beads that I'm using. So I would probably test out if you're going to use my Yuki seed beads to do this. I would probably shoot for eight to start with. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I come through the next top size eight seed bead here down through the eight elevens and then through the size eight seed bead there on the base so now you can see i have four one two three four four arches these look much much better now, the thing is, the first arch and the last arch are not connected here at the top or here at the bottom. So, it's what we have to finish. So, I'm going to go through that size 8 seed bead there at the bottom. Up through the 8 11s that I have here. Or whatever count bead you're using. I'm going to come through that last size 8 seed bead here on the top. That's the only one I've not been through. And then I'll go through the eight size 11 seed beads here on this side. And then through that base size eight seed bead again, so that it cages in that bead perfectly. Okay, so I'll add this to the pattern. I'll add that little count to the pattern, but that gives me a nice caged bead. You don't see any excess thread at the top or at the bottom, so that is a perfect encasement. So now what I've got to do is I've got to stitch through or pass through the beads to exit a size 8 seed bead here along the top. And I'm going to work one box of crawl. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change out my thread. It's really easy to do that. <clears throat> especially when you're using size 8 seed beads. So I'm going to cut myself my new piece of thread. And 
there's, you can do whatever way, whatever way works best for you. When I'm using my size eight seed beads, I actually like to do this method where I put both the threads together, new thread and old thread. And I take and tie that in a knot. Now, once that's tied, well, if I can get it here, try that again. Well, what in the world, Kelly? Okay, so I'm gonna put those two ends together. I'm gonna tie it into a knot. Now, when I tie it into a knot, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna pull these threads down. Now, if you can't get them pulled, because sometimes I can't, especially with the dragon thread, I cannot get those threads pulled. I grab a hold with my pliers and I pull that thread so that it goes all the way to the base of my piece. Then I'm gonna take those two threads and I'm gonna tie those together just one time like that again. Now, for now, I will just hold these threads, these two threads down like this, and I will continue to stitch with the new thread. And then, once I'm finished here, I've got a couple of more beads added, then I can take another needle, I can put it on these threads, and I can stitch through a few beads before I trim that off. So, from that knot, I'm ready in position to start. So, to do my box of crawl, it was in a first wall is an 11, an 8, and an 11. And I come back through that same size 8 seed bead. I come to the next size 8 along that top of that 8 millimeter. Pick up an 11 and an 8. And I come back through an 11 and an 8. Come through the next eight millimeter there. Next bead is an 11 and an eight, and I'm gonna go through the 11 and the eight. And then the final is I go through the eight on the base and then up through the 11 on wall one over here. I pick up that eight and I'm gonna come through the 11 of wall three, through that base eight, and then up through so that I can exit out of a top 11 or a top eight, I'm sorry, a top eight. So that now I'm ready to start the next cage. So again, to start the cage, we pick up an eight millimeter and then four size eight seed beads. We let these drop all the way to the base and I take the needle and I come back through that first size eight seed bead again to make the circle. And when I pull, I pull all of it tight so it's down at the base and I'm gonna come back through the eight millimeter bead again. It's a little tricky on this little purple one here. There we go. I'm gonna come to the opposite bead. So this is where my thread originally came out. So I'm gonna come to the opposite bead and I'm gonna come through that size eight seed bead. So now that bead is anchored and this is where we're gonna start our cage again. So remember, if it's Toho seed beads, you're only gonna need seven. For these Preciosa, I'm gonna use eight, and probably for the Mayuki, you're gonna need eight. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, it does not matter which size eight seed bead I start with on the top. I just like to start with the one that's anchored first. That's just personal preference. So I'm gonna go through that eight. And then, I'm gonna thread on eight more size 11 seed beads. And I'm gonna come through the eight on the base that I started with. So that I have my first two arches of beads. 
I come through the next eight on the cubic right angle weave. And I'm going to pick up eight size 11 seed beads. I'm going to come to the next bead here along the top and I'm going to go back through that bead. And then I'm going to go down through the 11s right below where that thread's exiting and through the 8 on the base. Then through the next size 8 seed bead. Eight 11s. And then I'll come through that top 8 again. I'll come down through the 11s right where my thread is exiting. And then through the base 80 seed bead. Through the next base 80. And remember, now I have four loops here of the size 11 seed beads. And the first loop and the last loop need to be connected. So we go up through the size 11 seed beads right above where the thread's exiting. Through our final size 8 seed bead, you're going to know it's the final one because there's no 11s connected there. So I go through that and then down through the 11s and the 8. This connects everything together and will give you a nice little cage for your 8 millimeter bead so that now you have two of those connected. And then I've got to stitch to come up to the top or I'm going to pass through the beads to come up through the top. So I'm exiting a size eight seed bead and then I'm going to start that again with doing another cubic right angle weave box and then caging in those beads until I have the cages built for the piece. Once you have all your beads caged, then you are ready to finish off the other side of the necklace with your cubic right angle weave. And what absolutely amazes me when I do a project like this always is how the change of bead can make all the difference in the world. So this is my original sample here with the nickel <clears throat> and the gray and then you can see there how different that looks with the uh, silver and the gold and it's really interesting because this actually looks smaller I don't know why it's the same size it just I guess gives you illusion of looking that way but you're just going to go ahead now after that last box and continue to finish out this portion of the necklace once you're done with this side of the cubic right angle weave strip, then you're ready to add the clasp. So exiting an 8-0 here on the end of the box, I'm going to pick up an 8-0, a four millimeter round bead, and a size eight seed bead, or an 8-0. I'm gonna come right back through the same bead again to make a circle. Okay, and evidently get my thread caught. Let's see what I can do here. There we go. All right, now I'm going to continue through two more beads of the last crawl box. My thread is exiting to the left here of the size 8 seed bead. So I'm going to pick up an 8 0 and I'm going to come through the four millimeter going from left to right. And as I pull that thread, I'm going to hold on to the bead 
so that it doesn't loosen up. I'm going to thread on one 8 -0. And I'm going to go through the 8-0 seed bead that I started with when I added this previous 8-0 seed bead. So if I pull that back tight, you can see there that's the bead I'm going to be going through. Now I'm going to step up by going through an 8-0 and the 4 millimeter. Now, let me grab my clasp here. This is half of my clasp. So I'm going to thread on three 11 O's, the first part of my magnetic closure, and three 11 O's. And I'm going to come back through the same four millimeter again so that it makes a circle. I'm going to thread on two 11 O's. I'm going to skip two 11 O's and then I'm going to go through the next 11 O clasp and 11 O. So you can see there, those are the three beads I'm going through. So I've threaded on two, skipped two, and I've gone through the 11 O, the magnet, and the 11 O. I'm going to hold this as I pull the thread down. And then I'm going to thread on two more 11 O's and come back through the four millimeter again so that when I pull and I pull everything tight, now I have two sets of two on this side and two sets of two on this side. I'm going to see if I can zoom in just a little here. Okay, so I've continued through two of the 11s, the 11, the clasp, and the 11s, and then two 11s, so that I'm coming out over here on the other side of my piece. Now, what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm only going to be working with this one front side of my piece. So I'm going to pick up two 11s, and I'm going to come down through the size 8 seed bead right below where my thread is exiting. Then I'm going to continue through the next 8 0 and then up through an 8 0. Now, two 11s, and then I'm going to come up through the two 11s right above where my thread is exiting. So that when I do that, now look how nice and finished that side looks. So I continue through the 11, the clasp, and the 11. And then I'm going to flip the piece over so that I can see the other side now, the side that does not have the 11s in place. I'll come down through the two 11s on this side of the clasp, thread on two 11s, and go through the 8 right below where my thread is exiting. I'm going to continue through an 8 and then up through an eight. And then I'll thread on two 11s and come up through the two 11s right above where the thread is exiting. So that now the clasp is even on both sides and we have caged that four millimeter bead into place. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna reinforce this several times, especially this part right here. Reinforce it several times and tie off the clasp. Once you complete the first side of the clasp, then you're going to do the same thing to the second side so that now you have a really nice finish to your caged bead necklace. <laughs> Thank you. 